I've taken a look at your proposal. It's much better than the ones you showed me before, but I'd still like to make some changes. Oh, come on, not again. Isn't this the sixth proposal I've shown you? What's your issue this time? Hmm, it's a bit hard to put into words, but the design still doesn't look quite right to me. I have to say, that's a terribly vague and unconvincing explanation. Please enlighten me. What would feel more right to you? Hmm, for starters, don't you think this roof is jutting out a bit too far from the top? It looks almost like the head of a fungus. This door, too. I don't think it needs to be nearly this large. If you could reduce it to around my height, you could use the leftover materials to construct a few more rooms. I... <sighs> the roof and the door are the most fundamental parts of a building. If we were to change them, then what would be left of the design? Even if the soul of the building won't be lost, all traces of architectural style would be gone. Anyone with the slightest inkling of architectural knowledge would know to leave them alone! Oh, I understand the principles of what you are saying, of course, but the truth remains that I'm still a bit unhappy with the design as is. Is there anything else that you can do? Oh, actually, I just got an idea. Can we get rid of all the extraneous sections on the roof so the whole design will just be one vertical structure, uh, similar to that of a tree trunk? What? Don't architects often say that symmetry makes everything more balanced and pleasing to the eye? This way, the proportions will be completely balanced. I... I really don't know how you managed to come up with such a ridiculous idea. Wait, don't tell me. Someone hired you specifically to commission me and put me through the ringer? Come to think of it, though, I really don't think I've gotten on anyone's bad side recently. Anyway, that's it. I will not be working on this commission anymore. Goodbye. Maybe you can find yourself some other genius who'll be able to satisfy your demands. Hey, young man, please wait. Uh, oh. I didn't fall for that scam last time. Ugh, were my requests out of line? I see everything! Just my luck. Why does this happen to me? Taking this commission was truly the worst decision ever. Hmm? Oh, hey, I wasn't expecting to run into you here. Actually, while we're on that, what are you doing here at the tavern? Don't listen to anyone who says that drinking is an elegant pastime. It's no good for your health. Ah, uh, so you saw that, did you? Ugh, I thought I was in the clear. I made sure to double check that nobody I knew was around. <clears throat> Anyway, thanks for looking out for me. Honestly, it wasn't that big of a deal. I'm used to it by now. Stress is just an inescapable part of being a working adult. Boss, I'll have a glass of wine. Same as last time. Do you want something too? I'll put it on my tab. Wine in a glass of juice? Coming right up. I know you're already keeping a secret for me, but if you could add this one to the list as well, I'd really appreciate it. Arguing with a client is not a good look for me. If word gets out, other potential clients might be afraid to work with me. That guy, though... What was he even going on about? All those ridiculous demands of his? He's just a blabbering fool trying to act like a know-it-all. Another glass, please, boss. I'm not leaving today till someone has to carry me out. 
You've got it, sir. <laughs> I gotta say, though, it almost feels like you're saying that every other day now. It really is every other day that you'd run into a client who knows nothing about construction requirements or architectural style. If this was in the past, I'd never have gone through six whole drafts trying to accommodate the client's preferences. But perhaps getting used to this just means that I've grown numb to it. I've worked on so many projects since graduation, and none of them have been approved at the first pass. I would spend a lot of time altering my designs, and by the time the clients were finally satisfied, all my passion and enthusiasm would be gone. It feels like I'm straying further and further from my artistic vision with every change I have to make. I suppose, though, that just sticking to your guns and completely disregarding other people's feedback would also not be a good thing. All of this makes for a real paradox, one that particularly crops up in my work, too. In the end, what is the true meaning of art? Should I see it as a divine gift of inspiration from the gods? Or an expression of the light of my own wisdom? Here's your drink. Hmm. How are you already spouting nonsense after just one glass? Your tolerance is usually much better than that. Boss, what do you think is the meaning of art? The meaning of art? Really, my friend, who in Sumeru understands art better than you? Anyway, I don't know about art, but I do know that I'm interested in business, and some patrons are waiting to be served. So, you'll have to excuse me for now. Just holler if you need anything. What do you think, Traveler? Yes, art shouldn't be self-indulgent entertainment saved for the elite. Let's say that I built a house for someone. If they don't like how it looks, then no matter how brilliant it may appear to me, they won't be happy with it. The problem is that it can be very difficult to get validated by others. I could compromise my personal standards to accommodate my clients, but often that just means creating a final product that I would struggle to look at. Sounds great to me. I don't even want to think about this project anymore. But what should we do? It's probably not a good idea to just drink until I pass out here.